This is the story of Sammy the Seal. Story and pictures by Sid Hoff. It was feeding time at the zoo. All the animals were getting their food. The monkeys ate their bananas. The bears ate their honey. And then it was time for the seals to be fed. Mr. Johnson took them fish. Hooray for fish, said the seals. They jumped in the water. Soon the basket was empty. That is all there is, said Mr. Johnson. There is no more. Thank you for the fish, said the seals. They were good. The seals were happy. But one little seal was not happy. He said, but he sat by himself. He looked sad. What is wrong, Sammy, said Mr. Johnson. I want to know what it is like outside of the zoo, said the little seal. I want to go out and look around. All right, Sammy, said Mr. Johnson. You have been a good seal. You might go out and see. Goodbye, Sammy, said the other seals. Have a good time. Goodbye, said Sammy. Where are you going, said the zebra. I'm going out, said Sammy. Have fun, said the hippo. Come back soon, said the giraffe. Sammy walked and walked and walked and walked. He did not know what to look at first. That seal must be from out of town, said a man. Sammy looked at everything. What street is this, said a man. I am a stranger here myself, said Sammy. I guess it is feeding time here, too, said Sammy. See the people in the restaurant eating. Oh, that is a lovely fur coat, said a lady. Where did you get it? I was born with it, said Sammy. I wish I could find some water. I am hot. I want to go swimming, said Sammy. That temperature is way up to... 90, almost 95, 100 degrees. We are sorry there is no room for you in the puddle, said the birds. There they are at the pet shop. And there is no room for you here, said the goldfish. Keep out, said the policeman. You cannot swim in here or swim in there. Ah, here is a place, said Sammy. He's jumping through a window. Who is in my bathtub, said someone. I am sorry, said Sammy. He left at once. Some children were standing in line. Sammy got in line, too. What are we waiting for, said Sammy. School. What do you think, said a boy. That will be fun. I will come too, Sammy said. The teacher was not looking. Sammy sat down. The children made words with blocks. Dog, cat. I don't want to miss Paige. There we are. Sammy wished he could spell. I don't think that spells a word, Sammy. All right, children, now we will all sing a song, said the teacher. The children had good voices. That sounds fine, said the teacher, but one of you is barking just like a seal. Is it you, Joey, said the teacher? No, said Joy. Is it you, Helen, said the teacher? No, said Helen. Is it you, Dorothy, Robert, Fred, Joan, or Agnes? 
No, said the children. Then it must be you, said the teacher. I am sorry. This school is just for boys and girls. Please let me stay, said Sammy. I will be good. All right, you may stay, said the teacher. She sure changed her mind easy, didn't she? Sammy was happy. He sat at his desk and looked at the teacher. He learned how to read. He's a quick study. He learned how to write. Look, he wrote his name on the board. And now it is time to play, said the teacher. Who wants to play a game? We do, said the children. They threw the ball over the net. The ball must not hit the ground, said Sammy, cried Sammy's team. Somebody catch the ball. Sammy caught the ball on his nose. A boy on the other team tried to catch the ball on his nose, too. Boys must catch with their hands, said the teacher. Sammy tried to catch the ball with his flippers. Seals must catch with their noses, said the teacher. Up and down went the ball from one side to the other. At last, the teacher blew her whistle. Who wins, said the children. It is even, said the teacher. Everybody was happy. A bell rang. School was over. Will you be here tomorrow, said the children. No, said Sammy. School is fun, but I belong in the zoo. I just wanted to know what it was like outside. Now I have to go back. Goodbye, Sammy, said the children. We will come to see you. Good, said Sammy. Sammy was in a hurry to get back to the zoo. He had so much to tell the seals. So he took a taxi. wonder what he paid the taxi man with. Because he doesn't have any pockets for his money. Hmm. Maybe Mr. Johnson helped him. May I welcome you home, Sammy, said Mr. Johnson. I am glad you are back. You are just in time for dinner. There is no place like home, said Sammy. And that's the end.